Hello everyone, this is me RJ with a new video and in this video I will talk about how you can use a Raspberry Pi 0W with a Raspberry Pi camera because as we know that this camera doesn't fit into it and also so we are going to see how to use this camera with this module also we'll see how to write a code in pattern to take images and also we'll see uh, manually how to take images using Raspberry Pi so let's get started Okay guys, so if you see here, this is the W and if you just uh, just look closely here, this is the camera port in W. So if we just try to put this camera inside, it's not going to because the port, so this, so this cable is much more bigger than this port. So it's not going to work in this way. So what we can do is we have to use Raspberry Pi Zero cable. So this is the um, camera cable for Raspberry Pi Zero. So these cables are really cheap. You can buy it from uh, market and or any other Amazon or any other site e-commerce site and also these cables are uh, you can find it in different sizes okay so this is a um, uh, I would say there is a smaller size also and there is a bigger size also so you can just buy it according to your need now the thing is that how you can connect this cable with this uh, Pi camera so the thing is that at first we have to remove this cable from here okay so how you can do that is if you just see here there is this black thing so this black slot type of thing you have to just uh, push it in this side okay a little bit okay and then you can simply just push this thing back and you can remove it and then you have to take this thing this cable and this like this uh, silver thing will be uh, this golden type of thing will be in uh, like in this side and then you have to push it in this way okay and then again you push that black thing something like this and then you have connected this thing successfully okay now you have to push this thing into the raspberry pi port so let's take it so here is the port and here also the mechanism is same you have to uh, push this thing outside okay little bit and then you have to like you have to insert it into it so you insert it in this way Okay, so it's a little bit harder to insert it in. So you have to push it in this way and uh, in this way you have to insert it. And then you can simply push it. And now we have successfully uh, connected our Raspberry Pi with Pi camera. Okay, so this is how you can connect the Pi camera with Raspberry Pi okay and now we were ready to use the Pi camera with Raspberry Pi so just let's insert a memory card into it and boot into the Pi and let's see how to use this camera with Pi Zero uh, okay so now let's get into the Pi now for that I am going to use Putty but you can also use that HDMI connections too okay so at first we will just log into, uh, log into the Pi using Putty and then we are going to use VNC viewer so that we can see the screen okay so but if you are using that is my connection in that case you don't need to do all this okay okay so let me give my password here and uh, okay so i have put some wrong password okay yeah so now we are inside our pi okay uh now as you can see we're inside the pi that means uh so our so now let's just open the vnc viewer okay so I am using VNC viewer because I want to see the images I will capture. Okay, so if you are using SSH, using SSH we cannot see the images. We can only capture those. Uh, but with VNC, we will be also able to see the images. Okay, so I am currently inside uh, my Pi. Okay, just through VNC viewer, I am watching the screen here. So in the terminal, let's just get into our desktop. Okay, so this is the desktop. And now in Raspberry Pi, to capture any image, you can use Raspberry Pi still. Uh, if you use Raspberry still command and you also need to mention the output name so in our case is cam.jpg okay so if you just uh, click enter here you will see you will get error because we haven't enabled the camera yet in raspberry pi so in raspberry pi whenever the, in the first time when you will like install the camera you need to enable the camera also for that you need to write a command sudo raspberry config okay and after getting into here you have to go to the interface option from there you need to enable the camera so you just go there and you enable it and after that you click ok and finish and it will say you to reboot it and you just reboot it okay so now our uh, ssh connection will be closed and vnc connection also 
so after a few seconds we will again like get into our pipe through the same methods so it will take few seconds to boot your pi again but sometimes it can take some more time so if you are getting connection error issues after this then wait for few seconds okay so here again our pi has been rebooted so let's just get into it okay now let's just get into the vnc again so if you don't know how to use vnc viewer in raspberry pi there is another video uh, in my channel where you can see how to use vnc viewer uh, i will put the link in the description of the video okay so now we are inside vnc and all the i think all the icons are loading yeah so they have been loaded so now let's just get into the terminal again okay and uh, okay okay and now let's again just uh get into our desktop and now let's just use the same command we used last time and this time we have enabled our camera so this command will look just perfectly okay so let's use it raspi still ocams jpeg and you see uh, it is capturing the image and within few seconds the image will be captured okay and here if you get any error again that means there are some issues in your cable connection in your camera okay and if you don't have any cable issues in that case you will get a file in your desktop and this is how it looks like so here as you can see it's my 3d printer i think it's ender 3 so part of it and you can see it also the fan ceiling fan so it's working just fine uh, now this is how you can capture the image using like raspi still now let's just talk about how you can capture the image using python okay so let's we need to write a code to capture image using python so let's just create a file nano image.py now here you need to copy this code now the code will be in the description okay so yeah let me copy paste it here so it's a very simple file we are importing pi camera and pi camera is nowadays pre-installed so here we are creating a camera object and we can also change the resolution from here okay you can set the resolution like according to your needs and then we'll just start preview of the camera we will take two seconds slip and then we'll capture the image and save it as foo.jpg okay and remember the the folder where the code is in the same folder the image will be stored so now let's run it using python image.py and you will see within very few seconds the program will be executed that means your image has been taken successfully so now if you just go to a desktop here is the foo.jpg so let's open it and as you can see uh, we have similar kind of similar type of image as the last one so that means it's working just fine okay so uh, in this way you can and there is the official page for pi camera so from here you can get several codes of pi camera okay like there are several uh, things you will get from this site so i'll put the link of this site in the description okay so that you can watch all this okay so this is all about this video guys and hope you have enjoyed it so please like the video and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video